Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 25 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. Today's episode is fantastic, so please sit back and enjoy today's episode. There we go, just hit 45 Herblur. That means I can make super attack potions now. So I kind of want to stock up on these right now because I got a blue dragon task and now that I have 70 agility, I have no real excuses to not do the blue dragons for like the bones and hides, so yeah, the super attacks will help a lot in killing them. And that is the hits for 79 magic. Awesome, awesome. And one more level to go and I'll have 80 magic as well. That'd be sick. I have now arrived at chess number 200. God dang, dude, I did not expect to be doing 200 plus barrels chest, you know? I thought I would uh, have gotten all the stuff that I needed to move on by maybe 100, but alright. That's just how the grind is with PVM, you know, RNG based SL. Here goes nothing. Oh, I guess it's time to go for 300 chests. Okay, 226. This will be another 60 chest dry streak, guys. God damn. Here we go. Yep. Wow, that's crazy, man. Back to back 60 chest dry streaks. I guess um, I'm going for a 70 dry record for this character. Okay, if I don't get something, then this will be uh, 70th chest dry in a row. That's certainly the new record on here. So here goes nothing. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. I broke it. I, I'm supposed to feel happy that I broke the dry streak, but I'm clearly dissatisfied because three, and guess what? I'm wearing another one. Ooh, crazy placeholders on top of placeholders on top of placeholders, man. Here goes nothing then. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my god, that was the biggest nerdgasm I've had in a while. Man, I love the room legs, but. Dude, the barrels tank legs, that's where it's at. 256 chests. Certainly much better than my past experience with barrels when I was getting my tank items on the other Iron Man. 450 for all the tank stuff, but on here, 256. Yes, it still took forever. Doesn't matter. This is it. This is over. So let me show you guys all of the loots from the 256 barrels chest grind, just as a nice way to end off. Uh, this chapter in the hardcore Iron Man. So here we go 16 barrels items guys So my 256 chest is pretty much average for uh, getting 16 So pretty spot on we were getting really lucky in the beginning and then you know those multiple uh, dry streaks of 60 and 70 really dented that average quite a bit 22,000 chaos runes 66,000 my runes 6,000 death runes and 12,000 blood runes keep in mind some of it's from slayer and I've used some of the runes such as like chaos runes already but most of these runes are definitely from barrels though so that's really nice so I am pretty much ready to go DK's but here's a little teaser check out the gear that I'll be using for DK's here we go guys look at the range defense though crazy 300 plus everything basically except for magic but at DK's for soul Dagonoff Rex all that really matters is the range defense and look let me show you the 395 range defense that I have with this equipment. Insane, guys. But the most important defense stat for Soul Diagonal Rex is definitely the range bonus. And holy hell, I got some good ass range bonus right here. 395 range defense. That's crazy. Almost 400. And that's pretty damn close to match range defense that's even available in this game. So that's really nice. The Spinal Lips range and magic attacks believe it or not actually rolls over your range defense so so having such a high range defense is gonna help a lot since I'll tank all of the spines hits as much as I can therefore I can stay at the Dagonoth room for as long as possible so this setup is gonna be amazing for Dagonoth Rex guys voila guys 80 magic another level 80 skill guys that is beautiful it's just crazy how pretty much all the XP from like 78 to 80 was just from barrels, dude. No joke. But the amount of time that I spent at barrels these past two days really did not allow me to create that much content. So it's probably gonna take like three to four days for this video. But hope you guys understand. Hey, that is really nice. 82 hit points, guys. Racking in on those hit point levels. So I have a few things left that I want to do before I head over to DK's. I want to make enough money 
so that when this shield degrades, I can go ahead and recharge it. So I need 750k for the first recharge. So probably a bit of Slayer or just you know Dust Devils or something. I'll be able to get it. And also, I need to stock up on some prayer pots, man. I have been neglecting it, but I have a ton of herbs now. That is nice. Four-step heart glue, guys. While I am doing Slayer, here we go. Yo! Oh my god, yes! Oh, that is beast of an upgrade, guys. Wow, man, this hardcore Iron Man is so studded early on. I love this. Dude, just got my best in slot ranger boots for a long time. I mean, unless I get ranger boots, which probably won't happen, but yo, nice. Got the XD high boots, guys. That's amazing to see that I would just get that on my 8th hard food and also good uh, alkabos as well so really good start to the slayer grind with the blood veil task because I'm here at the mutatus you know really good money and I also got some hard clue from here and yeah got myself the green d high boots from these guys damn dude with the new boots this setup looks even better guys almost 170 range bonus though yo this greater demon task is insane so I have gone not one, not two, but five Runefall helmets this task. And I still have 27 to go. And now I'm pretty much at 900k, so we're all set for the money to recharge crystal shields if I need it. So that's awesome. Okay, just gotta browse this stonemason, and that should be all of the Freemnik Diary easy completed. So now that I have this completed, the Pure of the Seer guy is going to be my bank, so that's going to be really good for snape grass collecting. So I actually never use Pure of the Seer for this, and it works, guys. This is great. Wish I knew about this back on my normal Iron Man, because it would have saved me so much time, because I walked from here all the way to uh, the bank at Jatizo, but yeah, now I don't need to do that, so that's awesome. And that is all my prayer potions completed, 276, um, 3 dose prayer potions, that's going to be more than enough for Dagonauts, and also probably enough to, for some other things down the line that's boss room related, but I managed to get myself 3 herbal levels as well, which is um, pretty damn useful because I still need my 61 goal for the elite clues. This is second hard clue of the day guys, and uh, let's just open this up, here we go, what we get? Oh, what up, Sarah Demon page three. Oh, nice, nice. Not like the best God book page, but you know, I'm all down for uh, completing God books, man. There we go. Just hit 73 Slayer. Now I'm able to spend more time actually doing Slayer and not at barrels. And I just finished my 100th Slayer task on this character, and I got myself 180 Slayer points. That's awesome, man. Tons of Slayer done, and really nice to reach this milestone. Okay, let's check the rewards. Please be 750. 684, guys. Dang. That means I need a few more tasks and I'll be able to finally buy myself this herb sack. That's going to be so good. Less than 10 tasks to go. So it is 1.30 a.m. Eastern Time right now and uh, people are finally starting to go to sleep. Because during holidays, it is so goddamn packed that this is probably the best chance I can actually find a world DK. So this is going to be my starting setup. It's probably going to change a bit, but... Yep, this should uh, be, you know, more than good enough to do a pretty decent Dagonoth trip. Now, obviously, the real question is, can I actually find a world and not get crashed and yada yada. We'll see. I'm only four kills in, but man, I'm already getting crashed by two people. I don't even think these guys are teams. Like, they're crashing each other now. So this is uh, pretty, pretty depressing, man. Getting crashed so early on. I literally just found this world, too. Dude, it's a freaking miracle, man. I actually <laughs> managed to find a world. Let's just try again, you know? I've already been crashed at least three times now, and uh, this guy looks like he might want to crash me too. God damn, bro. Well, as soon as I recorded that clip, I'm already getting crashed. Nobody want to share no more. I know it's holidays, but still, dude. Come on. 2.30 a.m., man. So I spent a long-ass time grinding for all this stuff just so I can go DKs, just to find out that it's basically impossible to go and do DKs right now on an Iron Man. And it sends me to say... I have to change plans. So I guess the new plan is just to go ahead and rush for 80 plus Slayer. With 80, I can boost for a whip, and then at 87 Slayer, I can get myself the Trident, and then I can head over straight to Zora. 
So I'll be primarily just busting out Slayer like crazy. And of course I still need to work on that Elite. And that's gonna be done sometime soon. And whenever Dagonoth King's Lair isn't so goddamn crowded in AIDS, I'll try to go back and, you know, get one of the rings. But, yep, that's gonna be the plan, guys. And again, sorry for those of you that were looking forward to the DK's grind on this account. But, yeah, it's gonna be delayed uh, for a while. So, guys, I'm finally done editing the video. And, goddamn, I spent four days grinding hard trying to make, like, this sexy-ass video for you guys. But then the ending just kind of, you know, blew. And unfortunately, I can't really make it any better. Still made a lot of amazing gains at barrels and with heart blues and all that stuff. So I hope you guys are satisfied with this episode. But yeah, hopefully I didn't overhype it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the series and want to stay up to date, feel free to subscribe for future videos. And of course, if you enjoyed today's episode, despite the shortcoming, feel free to give the video a like as well. I would really appreciate that. And I hope to see everybody soon with another video in a few days. Take care and bye-bye.